Today, we are talking through Lucky Chavi's gameplay. He recently just shot the 63 kill game, and I want to deep dive into his thoughts, plays, and his processes, his gun positioning, his movement, all that good stuff. If you guys want to watch Lucky Chavi, I'll have his links in the description down below, both his YouTube and his Twitch, where he live streams as well. Nevertheless, let's deep dive into it, and let's go straight into the gameplay. One thing I noticed off the rip, that he is straight away getting himself a weapons crate. And obviously, he is running the Renettis, and the MTZ556 in this gameplay. This is obviously when the Renettis were pretty broken. But a player of Lucky Chamu's um, uh, skill caliber, look, he can be dropping these high kill gameplays no matter what weapons he's using. Um, and obviously, he is talking about the weapon right now, how oh, broken it is. It was a very broken meta, I'll be honest with you. Some some of the most broken metas. Uh, obviously, he's getting quite lucky off the rip having the, with the um, solo kill there, the guy that's being AFK. But you know, you do need luck in these high kill gameplays. Now, the one thing that I do know notice off the rip is that um lucky chamu he, he's constantly looking at the map after every single down that he's getting uh, people that don't know this already if you're playing resurgence when you get a kill you get a little ping on the mini map that shows where the teammates are and that is one of the most important things when it comes to resurgence that you are making sure that you're looking at the um the the map all the time it's the most most imperative thing that you need to always be looking at your map um you might notice if you guys watch cdl or any sort of competitive match the money map is always being looked by the pros and that is because that it gives us 90 percent of our intel on the map uh, obviously hearing is obviously a very good point obviously listening to your teammates what they see as well is also very good points um but yeah looking at your mini map it's going to tell you a lot what you need to know about the map he knows that there's three people above him he also knows that they're different teams amazing bundle by the way how cool is that finishing move i had to buy that myself i'll be real with you a real finishing move. Now, the one thing that I really wanted to kind of discuss at the start with Lucky Chami's gameplay is that his movement is very minimalistic. Look, he's got excellent movement, and you'll notice this later on in the video. He starts hitting some naughty side cancels, some naughty channels. And I, the one thing that I noticed is that in a lot of scenarios, he doesn't overcomplicate things. He really doesn't overcomplicate his movement. He isn't slide canceling into every room. He's not ego challenge everything. Look, right here. A lot of people would have ego chat that room with a side cancel. He didn't. He let the person make the mistake. And that's something I want to be talking about a lot. You guys notice when I if I if you wise if you guys watch my live streams, you'll know that I always call out for mistakes of the enemy teams. It's one of the most important things, seriously. If you're not praying on the other person's mistakes, then you're playing the game wrong. You'll notice that I do it a lot. You'll notice that Lucky Chamber does this a lot. Look, he made a mistake there trying to get get that guy. He he backed off the roof. He let go. Now he's gone back in when he knows that he can get back in the, uh, on the front burner. He's also beefing the guys in game chat. I love it right now. <laughs> he, he's calling out everybody in game chat. I love this. Look, he is an ego challenge everything, and that's exactly what you need. You you can't be ego challenge absolutely everything on the map because you're going to lose every single gunfight. Now, this bit is a really good, interesting gunfight. Look, he's talking to these people. He knows there's going to be a lot of people up there. But look at how he uses his stairwell to his advantage. He uses this as a head glitch. Everybody challenge him. I don't know what he's shooting at. What is he shooting at? Seriously, what is that guy shooting at right now? Uh, because he, he's made the mistake. He's, he's, he's pumping his whole clip into this wall. What is he doing? Why is he doing that? Uh, no idea why he's doing that. But anyway, moving on. He knows that there's no more kills in the middle of the map. So he's just going to fly right now to the... Um, to, 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 to control sensor and he's obviously grabbing these kills that are like kind of looting kind of landing in again make sure you're looking in the sky make sure you're listening out for these parachutes because the most important thing is that you're listening out for these things uh, because it is one of the most important things i'm just gonna quickly restart this i had to quickly restart that just kind of make the light go away but we're back on we're back on track let me whack in full screen again and again he he is he is praying on the weak right now. He really is. He's letting everybody else make the mistakes and letting everybody run to him, letting everybody push him, making sure that everybody is kind of making their first mistake first. He knew there was a guy behind him, knew this guy's on top. Guess what? He went down below, he saw a guy, got the little key with the guy not having a weapon. He's making sure he goes down to the bottom and completely resets because he knows more people are above him right now. Why play those gunfights where everybody's populated? Play the people that are running on him. Look at these guys. They're all running at him. They're not shooting back. They're not giving him any reason to do anything miraculous right now. And that is one of the most important things about Call of Duty is trying to turn every gunfight into a very simplistic feeling. Now, this is really important. 
He's going to load out right now to get some perks, probably his own perks right now. Because um, he knows that he's got another loadout for late game if he needs a regain. Now, he has got quick fix. I love it. Quick fix is really important, I think, in rebirth. Uh, I switch between temper. That guy is very, very young. And he definitely should not be having the name Kucha Killer right now. But anyway, moving on. 27 kills, 33 people left. 32, 33 people left. The one thing that you'll know about Lucky Chamu's gameplay, and this is one thing that you'll notice a lot about professional players, is that they'll use movement to get away from sticky scenarios. They're being shot in the back. Well, guess what? I'm going to slide cancel away. I'm going to move away from this fight. I'm going to move away from this uncomfortable scenario. I'm going to make it something that I want to win and on my terms. Rebirth, BR, whatever you're playing, even multiplayer, make sure you fight the enemy on your terms because it allows you... Um, to kind of dictate the flow of your own gameplay. Now, he had a UAV pings there. He knows there's a lot more people side into this side of the map. So guess what? He's going to get the high ground. He's going to get the kills above. And he's going to shoot down on the people down below him. Because he knows how easy pickings. He knows a lot of people down. Three people down below him. These are free people. These are freebies, bro. These are freebies. You'll be, you be loving these freebies right now. Anybody be loving these freebies? No, these are all freebies right now. No one in their right mind is going to, like, run up here and try and chow him. They're going to try to take shots on him. Maybe they're going to land on him. But no one's going to run up there. Because guess what? They're down below. Look at these Look at these freebies. Everybody's making a mistake. Look, the mistakes are happening right in front of his eyes. He's not having to do anything out of the ordinary. These Look, there's some good players in this lobby. There's some, you know, some um, not highly skilled players in this lobby. But guess what? They're all making the mistakes. Because guess what? Lucky Charm is the one that's forcing these mistakes to these people. He's took a, cute, a couple of shots here. He knows the people have jumped out. Rather than pushing him in straight away, he plays up first, runs down. He can hear the people. Chasing them out. Gets his, gets his down. Now he's looking for these other guys. He knows two of them are above him. Probably one on the second floor right now. He's pushing it right now. Guy's been bamboozled. Guess what? He thought he's below him. Freebie right there. Like, these are all freebies. You need to make sure that you're using the map. And that's also one of the things I also want to talk about. And that knowledge is very important. Rebirth has been out for years now. It's been out since the Black Ops 4 days when um, Blackout was out. And uh, knowing the map is a very, very important thing because you're allowed to move about the map. You're allowed to get the kills a lot easier. And that is, um, is one of the most important things about Call of Duty. The map is just... It's just... Knowing the map is... Look, look at this. Look at this movement right now. Easy. He's, he's outplaying everybody. He doesn't need to wide wide. He doesn't need to slide, slide cancel. He doesn't need to do anything overcomplicated. See? Jump spots. Very important. Learn the jump spots. Learn the map. It's very, very important. Uh, now, he's popped an advanced UAV. Really smart. He had the cash. He had a fire cell. Why not? Um, the most important thing right now is getting all these kills that are really close to him. The ones that are pushing up. Now, you'll notice this a lot. A lot of people talk about stacking on this map. And yes, there are people that stack. And yes, there are people that camp. But guess what? That's been in Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. I mean, that was my first ever multiplayer game. It's been in the game since Call of Duty 4, guys. You can't complain about people camping, right? You need to learn how to pick off these teams. And this is what Lucky Chamu does really, really well in this gameplay. Going to do another quick restart right now. You know, being able to uh, to do these things is very, very important. Being able to dissect these teams apart and making sure... Like, look, I, like if I had a scenario in my head right now and I was thinking, okay, there's four people up there, but I know one person's went out to the right. I'm going to go for the guy on the right. Obviously, there's three people upstairs and you wouldn't be getting the free kills. But those those kills are going to come because guess what? You're drawing people out. You're baiting people out. And that's exactly what Lucky Chamber is doing right now. Look, he sees all these people above him. But guess what? He's going for the one kill down below. Because he's going to call out to his teammate or his, the teammate's going to... No, look, guess what? They're pushing him straight away. And that's what you need to be doing. You need to be making sure that you're pulling people towards you. And if you can't pull just one or two people, then try to get away from the scenario, reset, then go back in. You know? And that's what you'll notice he does a lot in this gameplay. You know, he's on 44 kills right now. 28 people left or 27 enemies. Nine teams alive or eight if you're not including Lucky Chamber. Now, this bit's really good. This is a guy to his right, guy to his left. Not find it. Let's get out of there. Let's move on. Let's get out of there. Let's move on. Let's get it to the next gunfight. Look, let's heal up. Let's move on. He's got a load of plates. He's got throwing knives. Let's go to the opposite side of the map. Let's not take these fights up top. And that's all I love about this gameplay. Look, I'm taking the fights down below because everybody's coming down to him. And that's what you love. This is what I love about this gameplay. This is why I wanted to deep dive into it. Because 
fight picking is one of the most important things and uh, if you ask any pro player uh, if you want to go for high kill gameplay they'll tell you the fights that you pick are the most important bits about your gameplay it's about your decision making it's not about how you can you know win your gun fights or where your center in is Look, don't get me wrong your center is very important and there are definitely things that you could do to improve your aim that'll help you win more go more and more gun fights but the fights that you pick are the most important bits. You know, making sure that you're not running into stack squads all the time. Making sure that you're, you're kind of picking away these little solos. You know, there's a guy behind him. He shot the guy in front. So guess what? He gets this kid. He runs away. And he's making sure that he plays up. Okay, look at another guy. So he's making sure that he completely runs away. He could have held that door. A lot of players would have held that door. And he have died for the two people running in. So guess what? He ran away. He confused him. He's gone back in. Another angle where they gave up on him. Guess what? He picked away two of them. You know, lovely bit of movement here. I love this movement right now, using the doors to his advantage. Look at this. Look at this. Didn't need some weapon swap right there, but it's, guess what? He got that gunfight. Look, and he got another gunfight in here. And this is the, I wanted to talk about something here. This is very important. This guy, why is he doing all this movement? His name's actually called Movement. Bro, I'm telling you right now, overcomplicating your movement, it, it gets a lot of people killed. Don't shoot your gun. Bro, I'm telling you right now, all you need to do nine times out of ten is shoot your gun. You don't need to do all this fancy, fancy why, why, up, down, left, right, spawn in a vehicle like it's GTA San Andreas. You don't need to do any of that. Sometimes you need to aim and shoot your gun, and it's simple as that. And this is what I love about Lucky Chami's gameplay. It's very simple. It's very nice. It's clean. He has an amazing shots. He has amazing four processes. He has great decision making. His shots are on, for, on point. His movement, beautiful, clean, not overly complicated. That's what I love about this gameplay, bro. It's just clean. Everything about it, you know, 56 kills, eight people left, three other teams. At this point, you're looking for the solos. He hears the people, picking apart the people. Seven people left, two teams. So you're probably looking at a three and a, uh, three and a four right now. Or, uh, you know, uh, three to four. Yeah, three to four right now. So right now, you're probably thinking, right, well, I'm going to see if I can try and find them making mistakes. The four teams up there. Let's see if I can find the three team right now. Guess what? The three team bought by their teammate. That's it. He hears the guy go to the top. He's just playing his life a little bit. Not overcomplicating any of the gameplay. He doesn't want to be on top where everybody can see him. He wants to fight people on his turn. Yet again, he's going to try and find someone. Gas mask. Looking for the gas mask there. Really good play. I think he goes to the buy here right now. UAV to try and find everybody in the lobby and a portable UAV. Look, now he's got everybody. He's a team of four up there. Another team of four on this roof. Adam on on grandma's. Uh, he's making sure that he's picking up everything on the floor as resources. Because guess what? The two teams of four. What did I tell you? Don't run in and just run at teams of four. You need to make sure you work on the map. And this is what he's doing right now. He's doing it perfectly. Look at how smart he's playing right now. He's not overly complicated. He's not challenging anybody. He knows that if he runs into this team of four, he's going to die. So he's waiting for the other teams to make the mistakes first. Take away their numbers. You know, down the people. Make sure you take away their plates. That's what he's doing. He needs to wait for everybody else to make the mistakes. Guess what? Team has just lost their teammate. So he's probably going to get a UAV right now, possibly. Maybe. I guess a gas mask. Even better. And he's going to push up top because he knows there's two people up here. I'm liking his play right now. He's probably doing the extended gas mask play. Uh, he, he's trying to stay out of the fight for as long as possible because he is trying to make sure that everybody else is making a play. He got the mortar strike. He got two people down. He can probably finish these guys off right now. So he's healing up right now, making sure that everybody else is still fighting. And he's not, he's sticking in as little gunfights as possible right now. That guy's managed to get two people back in. He knows exactly where two people are going to be. They're going to be in the sky. Let's just get these guys down below first, right? Let's get these guys down below. And that's exactly what he's doing right now. And, you know, he gets a bit unfortunate that there's four people. And he probably is going to die here. But it just shows uh, how important... Oh, he did. maybe he doesn't die. Oh, it's a 1v1. Guess what? Everybody else made the mistakes. And he gets the kill. 63 kills, by the way. I didn't actually know he won that, by the way. And that just shows the imperative of making sure that everybody else makes the mistakes first. But chat, if you guys look at what you're seeing here, and if you guys like this style of content, me reviewing gameplays and going through it, make sure you put in the comment section down below. And again, if you guys want to watch Lucky Chamu, be, the links will be in the description. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace. Bye-bye.